Good morning everyone. Who's online already? Give us a hello. What a song this one. Hope everyone's feeling good this morning. Give us a comment, say hello. Say good morning. If you are already online, give me two seconds. Say good morning to the rest of the crew. Good morning. morning if you're online guys hello say hello oh 11 we're busy we are busy already cool cool give us a good morning if you're here starting in 90 seconds Pharrell Williams happy <laughs> what a song Happy Monday. So I chose this song. Good morning, good morning. Say hello if you are online already, team. Say hello. We're starting in one minute. One minute. Hopefully we connect this morning. Always have this little little problem just before I start. <laughs> Say good morning. Make sure you comment. Please comment. Good morning. Who else loves this song? Today's theme. Today's theme is smile emojis because we're happy Monday. We're happy. We're feeling good. Let's go. Smile emojis for me. Everyone. Starting in 30 seconds. Until then, put down some smile emojis. Feeling good. Twenty seconds. Starting any time now, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. Lots of comments. Love it. Good vibes already. Good vibes. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Lots of smile emojis. Give me a, give me a grin. Give me a grin. Give me some love. All right, everyone. Um, I hope you're well. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, I hope you've had a great weekend. We're welcoming um, some more and more people. Um, hopefully the connection's, the connection's good. Um, we've, got, um, we've got a lot on today. We've got a great class where we are um, working five stations and we're doing two exercises throughout that. It's going to be nice and challenging. Um, but in that team, we also welcome... Um, some, some new recruits and Robin from Sydney, uh, my social media guru and good friend, um, has welcomed his partner's sister Talia um, and also welcomed, um, I think his mother, I only got the message about 10 minutes ago, uh, Anki and I hope I pronounced that right but um, good morning, comment with your smile emojis guys, uh, a little bit of Pharrell Williams, happy, what a song to start off um, the class with so Hope we're feeling good, team. Um, I think the audio and everything like that is great. We're just going to start off with the warm-up, and then we're going to go from there. Make sure you comment, guys. Comment today. Um, 
All is good. Okay, cool, cool. Just, um, just trying to get these, as always, um, the connection between my laptop and <laughs> going live, but all seems to be good. All right, everyone, here we go. Good morning. Good morning. All right, body weight uh, warm ups. I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's feeling good. Um, let's get into it, guys. Uh, nice and simple. Uh, all is good. Okay, let's go. We've got a squat rotation. Actually, I'm going to check one thing. One thing. Sorry, guys. I don't normally do this. I just want to check one, one small little thing. Um, just on from my phone. So back on. There we go. All right. We should be good. I just realised a little, a little problem. Okay. All is good. I was connected to the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi is pretty average here. Okay, everyone, here we go. Starting now, much better. Okay, so we've got a squat and a twist. The connection should be much better between uh, myself and the, and the phone if it wasn't already. Cool, okay, let's go. All right, beautiful. Next one we've just got is a stepping lunge. So everyone, three, two, one. Okay, just give me that stepping lunge. Sorry if the, um, if the connection wasn't great before now, um, <laughs> but it should be good. So I said before we welcomed uh, Robin's sister's partner, um, Robin's partner's sister, Talia. Next one is 10 knees up, 10 heels back, and Robin's mum, Anki. So if you don't know Robin, he does all my social media work. Um, we should know him by now. So 10 knees up, 10 heels back. Okay, just alternating. 10 up, 10 back. That's it. 10 up, 10 back. Nice and simple. You might have done my DIY program yesterday. You might have had the day off. Um, so we just build into it. We've got the star jump next. Okay, let's go. Follow along. Ah, uh, the connection's much better, I can see. I'll be able to see all your comments today too, guys, so make sure you comment. Let's go. Nice and easy. Come on. Okay, very simple. We're down here, 10 mountain climbers, one push up. You know my warm ups, guys, they're simple. 10 climbers, and then give me one push up. That's it. Nice and easy. All right, hip thrust. I choose these warm-up exercises. Again, they're designed to get the body moving. Hip thrust in every, every way possible. So twisting, turning, lower body, upper body. Um, we just try and get everything functionally ready for the session ahead. Warm-ups don't need to be overly complicated. They just need to do what they need to do. Okay, next one will just be a back roll, which the knees are just gonna go side to side. Smile emojis, that's the theme. Happy Monday. Monday for me is exciting because I've got a huge week ahead and it just means it's, uh, it's the start. So I look, I look forward to that. Everyone looks at Monday differently. I love Monday morning. You guys know that. Okay. Up on your toes, nice and easy. Okay, squat jumps, ready. Obviously, if you're not up to squat jumps, just give me a squat. Busy morning, I think, was that nearly 20 online? Fantastic, the more the merrier team. Let's go. Oh, 
All right. Frog squats, elbows on the inside. That's it. So again, warming those legs up, sort of swinging, bit of a pendulum type setup. Good morning, everyone. Clap your hands. <laughs> great, great song. Okay, last one, team. As simple as a burpee. Give me squat if you can't burpee for whatever reason. Let's go. There we go. I hope everyone's feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right, everyone. Had a quick break. If you haven't already, comment below with your good morning um, toward everyone. So please comment. Good morning. I hope you're feeling good. I hope everyone's feeling happy. <laughs> if you've just jumped online, that was our, our song this morning. All right. Lots of smile emojis, lots of uh, happy. I think the connection and everything's good, so um, that's, that's great. I had, if it wasn't, I had my phone on Wi-Fi, which complicates things a little bit. All right, so again, ideally you have your weight. Um, for those that don't have weight, I always say, please just comment or contact me, because um, I can help give you some substitutes, but Today we've got um, a lot of work with resistance, whether it be whoop, um, whether it be with your bar or um, a set of dumbbells now. If you don't, I've got other variations which are just going to be as tough. But today's theme, okay, same as last Monday, you're doing two exercises. Exercise A, exercise B. We're familiar with that. There's five different stations. so. There's A and B on station one, A and B on station two, but on station one, which we're all starting at, you're going to be doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, then you go to exercise B, 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, then you go back to A, 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, you go to B, 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, you do another set of A and another set of B, so you're doing three sets, A, B, A, B, A, B. It's 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, the whole session, then we move to the, straight to the next combination. There is no more than 20 seconds work at any point today. So this session catches up on you. Now, on the first station, exercise A, we did this last week, is um, we've got the clean, the front squat, and the press. The clean, the front squat, and the press. Now, if you don't have weight, just give me a squat, or you could even give me a squat jump. Okay, as a substitute. Exercise B, they're substitutes. If you've got weight, clean, squat, and press. Exercise B is a shoulder press. Now, if you can't shoulder press, give me a push-up. Okay, there's your substitutes. So the next station, station two, exercise A, exercise B. So exercise A, we've got an under-grip row today. So you'll notice that my grip is just outside Shoulder width, we hinge over and we're going to pull in and squeeze our back and shoulders together. Neutral posture is a must. Then you've got the same grip and we're doing those bicep curl negatives. So we're up and then we're slowly controlling down. So you've got row and curl negatives, A, B, A, B, A, B. Now if you haven't got weight to row, you're gonna be doing a mountain climber, and exercise B is a plank, okay? Um, so there's your substitutes. From there, weight or no weight, up to you, it's hard with weight. Exercise A, station three. One, two, three, and squat jump on four. One, two, three, squat jump on four, okay? Um, again, you don't need weight for this one, it's hard enough. I'm doing this weight, because because I got it <laughs> and I'm feeling good. So the next one um, 
is you've got 10 knees up, so this is exercise B, then one burpee. 10 knees up, one burpee. So you've got three jump squat, uh, three squat, pole squats and a jump squat, 10 high knees, one burpee. You don't need any substitutes that, we can all do that. Then we're down, okay, easy. All right, so you've got the floor press. Okay, elbows in, pressing up. A substitute for that would be a tricep push up or getting your bench or table and doing a dip. Okay, um, exercise B is a push up negative. So that's where we're doing the same as that bicep curl, controlling down. I actually don't care how you get up. We're working on the control within the negative of the push-up today. Um, the last combo, pretty brutal, it's the lateral jump squats. You've got eight reps on your eighth rep, then you've got eight frog squats. Okay, eight lateral squats, eight frog squats, and the last exercise is the hip thrust. Okay. I'll be using my band, my booty band for my booty, <laughs> no, my, for my glutes. Um, isn't that a funny word, booty? Where'd that come from? I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> All right, yeah, not sure about it. So exercise A, exercise B, 40 on, 20 off, 40 on, 20 off, A, B, A, B, A, B. 20 seconds rest, we move to the next station. Then we do A, B, A, B, A, B, move on. So we've got to go through all five, always doing two sets. Um, I've explained this one really, really thoroughly because once we start now, we don't stop. I'll remind you of substitutes if you haven't got access to weight. Some of you messaged me already um, not saying that you don't, so um, that's cool. We're going to get into it, guys. Hopefully everything's well. Smile emojis, gun emojis. We're getting ready. All right. Cool, cool. All right, everyone, here we go. Let's get on. Everything's lined up. Can I just get a couple of people to give me a thumbs up just to make sure the audio and the visual is good? Again, I know the visual is good, but is it connecting between the phone and the laptop? <laughs> Can we just get a thumbs up uh, from one or two of you just so I know? Um. <laughs> I'm probably too much for most of you on a Monday morning. <laughs> yeah. Sorry guys. Because I'm happy. I just double check those thumbs up. Yeah, cool. Okay, everything's good. Visual's good. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jenny. All right, here we go, everyone. Starting with the clean squat and press. Sorry to Robin's... Uh, you know, Talia and Anki have just joined in and have to put up with me now. <laughs> okay, everyone, here we go. We've got 30 minutes of work. Everyone getting set. 30 intervals, 30 minutes. All right. Exercise A is the clean squat and press, or if not, you're doing a squat and a jumping squat. Okay, everyone, here we go. Clean squat and press. If not, a body weight squat or a jumping squat will be fine. Today's session will catch up on you, I guarantee it. So you're going to find that you'll get through it okay at the start and then it'll just keep building. The combinations are going to tire you out and test you today, I guarantee you that. So we rest. Again, a lot of you are going, oh, I feel okay. Rest feels good. Okay, so you've either got a shoulder press or if you haven't got weights, push up. Depending on your weight, the tempo of this, you can do it faster or a little bit more controlled. I've turned side on so you can visually see that the bar is going directly above my head. I'm not pressing out like that. That's a no-no. 
Keep the weight close to your body. Functionally try and press that bar over your head. If you can't, you might find um, your flexibility in your shoulders isn't great, so you need to stretch. That's it. Good work, everyone. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so that's one set. We've got three sets. Okay, ready. I said the combos today, week four, probably the hardest in some ways that we've done. Um, you'll work that out pretty soon. Clean squat and press or a body weight squat. Depends on what you're doing. A lot of people have these fancy gyms, including myself. <laughs> but all I'm using in this time is this 14 kilo torsion bar. It's not a cost, it's an investment. Because if I didn't have it, I probably wouldn't get the results that I want. It's all I'm using. I'm not doing anything else besides running and walking. Okay. The more equipment you have doesn't mean the more results you're going to get. Okay. <laughs> All the gear, no idea. Ever heard that saying? All right, shoulder press or push ups? You can have the fanciest golf clubs and the golf course. Doesn't mean you're going to hit the ball straight. <laughs> I can tell you that firsthand. Yep. That's it. Try and get that bar right above your head. Nice job. Ooh yeah, this is burning now. 10 seconds. Again, if you don't have weight, push up. This will be hard enough. Okay. Clean squat and press is next. So round three. You're more or less shoulder pressing for six sets straight. So that's why your shoulders are probably feeling heavy now. Ready? Set. That's it. So the weight, you know, if it's, you've got a lighter weight, you can up the tempo. Or if you're at a heavier weight, you don't need to fit as many reps in. It's duration. So you lift it, you land into your squat, and you press. Nice work. Okay, this set of shoulder press will burn. And then we've got 20 seconds rest. Then we go straight into our next combination. I reckon might be the hardest. Oh, one of the harder combinations today. Uh, five seconds. Three. Let's go. Aligning the muscles up. We're really getting the whole body to burn. My Monday's class, that is always the design. I'll let you guys know that. That's it. Halfway. I love that halfway timer. Keep going, guys. Come on. Monday is my, my number one workout day. Start your week off and your day strong. Okay. Next combo. You've got the under grip row and the bicep curl negatives. If you haven't got weight, you're doing mountain climbers and a plank. They're your substitutes. Remember the grip must be no wider than shoulder width for this. We hinge over and we pull in. Okay, exercise A now, um, station two. So, 
there is no rest between stations. This is gonna get really hard, this combination. The shoulders are already burning. Now we're working the backs of them. Then your biceps are gonna feel like they're gonna explode. Okay, rest. Next one is a curl negative. If you haven't got weights, you're holding a plank. I said to you guys that the combinations this week or each week they're gonna build and build. So, this week, <laughs> some of my programs that I've written out, maybe I'm a little ambitious, but <laughs> we'll work through them. They're gonna be pretty tough. You'll be okay. So, curl slowly releasing. Curl slowly releasing squeeze release that's it Oof. great work oh okay rest so it's really going to target target through your biceps okay getting ready so we've got the under grip row or a mountain climber. Up to you. Three, two, one. But just slightly move position so you can maybe see that my shoulders and back are squeezing together a bit more. Emphasis of your shoulder blades squeezing together. That's it. You'll feel your biceps because they're fatigued. 15 seconds. Pull it in, not up. So pull it into your belly button. Don't pull it up to your chest. I said this combo is gonna feel like it gets pretty hard. So your next, we're back to those curl negatives, or you've got the plank. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Okay. So we're just really slowly working our way down. Ooh. So our combos last week with our biceps, these two exercises are very, very similar. That's why it burns a lot. We're pretty much doing biceps for six exercises, not just three. Ow, oh, okay. Third round. So now we're doing our undergrip row again and one more set of bicep curls. Otherwise you're doing a mountain climber and a plank depending if you've got weight. Okay. Next one. That's it. Straight back is number one. Oh boy. Cause I'm happy. <laughs> Come on. Ow. <laughs> you grip your arms on fire. Okay, last set. Curl negatives. Then we move on to the next station of two exercises, which is very cardio based. Okay, back to lower body, back to cardio. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Keep your posture straight. Squeeze. Okay, easy. That's it. 
Oh, these are stinging. That's it, everyone. Oh, come on, 10 seconds. Okay, actually I'm keeping the weight. You don't have to use weight though. Okay, it's three pulsing squats, and then you're jumping on four, and then um, 10 high knees, and uh, one burpee. There's station A and B. You can do this with weight or not weight. All right, let's go. One, two, three, jumping on four. That's it, one, two, three, jumping on four. You don't have to jump, you can uh, just do a standard squat depending on your leg strength. Oh, halfway. I thought, oh, more than that. Damn it. That's it. Good work, come on. Okay, is where that program's catching up on us. All right, 10 high knees, one burpee. Next one. If you can't burpee, you can just do high knees the whole time. Um, otherwise, let's go. 10. Once you've done 10 high knees, we're down. Straight back up. Let's get the heart rate up on this combination. Let's go, come on. Okay, a little bit more of a lung burner. Your station A, I mean station three. So heart rate's gonna go up. Okay. Three jumping squat, three pulsing squats, one jumping squat. Ready? Let's go. Three jumping on four. One, two, three. Jumping on four. One, two, three. If you're training with weights and it's hurting and it's burning, good. Because it'll get easier. Our body will adapt to it. Don't avoid the challenge. Don't avoid that. It will get easier. Okay. Great work. We've got 10 high knees and then um, one burpee. Again, just give me high knees if you can't burpee for, for whatever reason. If you just find it tiring, just suck it up and do it. But let's go. 10. Legs should be heavy. That's what makes this combo hard. Keep going. Come on, with me. Five seconds. Well done, everyone. Okay, keep going. Last round. Third set, A and B, ready. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm finding these, these are killer today. Which is great. 
That's that jump squat. Ouch. Okay, knees up 10, burpee one. Then we're back onto our upper body, which will be tough. Come on, set three. And then we're onto a tricep exercise. Okay, let's go. How heavy the legs? Oh, let's go. Reminds me of footy. Legs are like jelly. You gotta be able to run. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Everyone with me. All right, station four. You're either gonna do a dip on the end of a bench, um, or you're grabbing your weight, and you're doing the floor press. So you got a close grip, and it's like a push-up. You can also do a tricep push-up. Actually, that would make this combination really hard. I recommend this, and as I've got written down, or a tricep dip, yep. Okay, your biceps really hurt before. Now your triceps are gonna be next level burning on this combo. Good work team, 10 seconds everyone. Come on. Oop. Okay, that set you're probably going, oh, it's not too bad. It will get hard. All right, push up negatives. I don't care if you're on your knees or on your toes. I want you to control down so you hit the floor to the last centimeter with control. Try not let your hips touch before your chest. If you can't push up, I don't care how you get up. If you've got the strength, control down and then push up from that position. Again, I don't really care how you get up today, but I want the emphasis being on the control and the, uh, the push up. Oh, you got it. Ah, okay, you probably worked out this is gonna get hard. Okay, back to the floor press or the tricep dip. Ooh, okay. Everyone starting in five seconds. Okay, let's go. These will be instantly, instantly harder. Press from your chest, not your upper chest. Oh. Oh, burning. Oh. If you're feeling it, that is great. Because you are meant to be. Oh. Okay. Push up negatives. Um, again, I don't care how many you do, but the ones you do, I want you to do well. Okay, control down from the top to the bottom. Try not let yourself fall, even the last centimeter. Control, try not caterpillar down. 
If anything, I'd rather your chest touch before your hips. Oh. Oh, these are tough. Come on, we've got 10 seconds, maybe one or two more. Okay, they will get your push up stronger. I'd rather you do them on your knees properly than on your toes average. Um, just if you're following along. So, third set, exercise A, floor press. The way of doing this where we're going A, B, A, B, A, B rather than circuiting through all 10 stations, I believe is harder. Because the muscles we're targeting should be on fire. Everyone, come on. Keep going. Everyone with me. Come on. Eight seconds. All right. These last set of push up are gonna be brutal. All together with me. Come on. You can see no one's jumped off. The 14 that we started with, the 14 we still got. There might have been a few that just logged in this morning just to have a look, but you guys are with us. Come on. Push up negatives. And I know there's more than 14 because I know that there's groups of twos and threes doing it on the same device. So it's a busy class this morning. Come on, everyone. Let's go. 12 seconds. Last one. Okay. We're moving into our last combination. So we've got eight lateral squats, eight frog squats, and then we've got a hip thrust with the weight. I'm using a band as well. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Last combination, station A, uh, station five, exercise A. You've got eight, I lost count, I think that's eight. Then eight frog squats. Six. Let's go. Eight and eight on repeat. Oh. All right. Oh. Okay. So you've got hip thrust. You don't need weight for this one, so everyone's doing it. I'm using weight and an added band. Okay. So we're thrusting the hips up in the air. If you've got a band, you're pulling it apart at the top. I've still got a few bars left here. Um, and a few of these band sets. So um, send a message today if you want some. I've only got one 12 kilo bar left and uh, three 14 kilos. I've got a few tens, a few eights, kilo torsion bars that is. 10 seconds. Okay, beautiful, fantastic. Okay. Oh boy, how's the, how's the buns already on that one? Jesus. Okay, eight jumping squats, eight frog squats. Land deep. Once you've done eight, 
three, do my shoelaces up, four, five, six, seven, eight, loop, swoop and pull. All right. oh, come on guys, push through the pain, push through the pain, come on. I say, say pain, push through the burn. It's not pain. Just a little bit of discomfort. I don't want you to associate training and fitness with pain psychologically. So we'll use discomfort as a word maybe. Or just, if it's burning, it's working. So that's what we want. Okay, let's go. We want, it to, we want it to work. If you're not feeling it, you need to work harder. There's no other way about it. If you're not feeling it, no disrespect, but pull your finger out and work a little harder. Come on. Because I'm feeling it. 10 seconds. Ooh. Okay, last combination. Then we're there. A and B. Set three, station five. Let's go. Two. Three. Oh, this is a killer set. Come on, guys. Four, resist. Five, giving up. Oh. Nice, jelly legs. Oh. All right, exercise number, set number 30. Light at the end of the tunnel. Toot toot. <laughs> toot toot. We can see the light at the tunnel. See that trainer coming. It's rolling around a bit. I ain't seen the sunshine since. I don't know when. We're stuck in Folsom Prison. And time keeps dragging on. Toot toot. Come on. And I hear that whistle blowing. 10 seconds. Ooh. Sorry about my groaning. It's burning. Oh, nice work. Toot toot. Chugga chugga. Smile emojis. Smile. That's our theme. Happy Monday. Happy, happy. A minute's rest. And then you guys guessed it. Oh, 50 squats and then we're done. <laughs> Ow. My legs are like, like water balloons. Well done. Fantastic. All right, team. So for those that uh, are new, we've been finishing with our squat work. It's gonna change up soon, but it's like anything, you do it enough, it gets easier. Okay, or you do it enough properly, it gets easier. So um, we are doing our 50 squats or jump squats. <laughs> um, a lot of you are saying that it's getting easier. It will get easier. Um, I'm doing it with weight. You don't necessarily you don't necessarily have to do it with weight. Um, we're going to do 50 reps, but it's going to be a set of 15, a second set of 15, a set of 10, and a set of 10. That will get us to 50 reps. With weight or not, depending on, uh, depending on um, I guess, your level of strength and fitness, but we're going to get ready, guys. 15 is the first set. Let's go. 
And we have about five seconds rest between. All right, 15 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Three levels of difficulty, weight, no weight, or no jump. Okay, second set of 15, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ha, two sets of 10. Okay, ready? We got 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, here we go. The victory lap. Final 10. Let's go. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Oh. Bravo, everyone. Have a drink. Grab your towel. Oh. Smile emojis. Happy. Give me, give me the vibes today. Um, for those, I'm just going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, oh. For those that know me, know that Monday morning is my favorite session. Um, I think it sets your week up massively, um, but it also sets your day up. And I also look at it the reverse, and if you've missed your Monday morning session, what example does that set for the rest of your week or your day? So I look at it two ways. So Monday to me is, I don't know, I just think you have to get Monday in. And it doesn't matter whether you came in feeling, feeling great, you might not have felt awesome today, you might have felt great, but I reckon we all leave feeling, feeling great. So I just think it's really important to start your week off. Love the emojis, guys. Um, for those that are regular emoji button presses, <laughs> I love it. It really, it really gives me some good motivation and, um, and I guess direction of how you guys are going with the program. I do what I love, but um, I love giving what you guys love. And um, if you're not a regular emoji person, become one. Feel free to express yourself. Just put down a smile. That's all you've got to do today. Um, I put up a little, a little post um, last night within the program. I think a lot of you saw it. It was just my Sunday tip. I might start doing some more tips now that we're becoming regular and I'm familiarizing myself with you and vice versa, um, you guys with me, is don't pick and choose your workouts. I've played sport for many years and I can tell you guys there's been sessions that aren't my favorite, but it doesn't change how I attack or approach those because I know the long term, they're probably the ones I needed to do the most. The sessions I enjoy are the ones that I like, the exercise I like, the sessions I like, but it doesn't mean they're necessarily the ones that you need to work on and do. So um, I post the sessions the night before so those who can get up and do it before 8.30, that's the only reason. Um, so don't ever let the workouts detour you from, from getting up and smashing it because it'll uh, benefit you guys long term. Hit those button, hit those emojis. Um, have a beautiful day, guys. Smile emojis. Happy Monday. Love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> What have we got? Comment. Hope everyone you have a great day. Good chat, Rob. You know I love my chatting.
<laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Smile emojis. Normally I'll turn it off, but I just want to keep dancing because I'm happy.